is Justin and Philip with Zenith Pumps. Uh, today we're here to take a look at the Zenith uh, BB Pep Polymer Extrusion Pump. And Philip's going to help me demonstrate how this pump is going to reduce your maintenance downtime and uh, maintenance costs. Um, Philip's going to go ahead and start with the lip seal, uh, dual purpose lip seal. Uh, it's a radial seal and provides a sealing flange on the rear to seal against the Rio seal housing. He's going to go ahead and install that in the lip seal housing. As you can see, the lip seal, lip seal housing has a rabbet to align with the OD of the Rio seal. I'm just going to go ahead and install that now. No additional fasteners needed at this point. And he's going to go ahead and put the front plate in the vise. Uh, there's no piloting features on the front plate. Um, alignment's not an issue. You can go ahead and install the seal arrangement before building the rest of the pump. He's going to go ahead and install the three fasteners. We've reduced the number of fasteners uh, on this pump to speed assembly. And the seal is a modular design that can be replaced with any other seal options or stacked seals. All the fasteners are exposed uh, for easy hand tightening before torquing. There's a pilot diameter on the rear of the Rio seal. Philip's going to flip the plate in the vise. Uh, here's the pilot diameter that lines up with the diameter in the B bearing to ensure proper alignment with the shaft in bearings. Philip's going to go ahead and build the uh, bearing and gear assembly now. The bearings themselves have two different diameters so that the shaft and arbor cannot be installed incorrectly within the pump. He's now going to install the arbor, which has the alternate diameter. And the rear bearing is identical to the front bearing. There's a shaft diameter transition in the coupling area of the seal to prevent cutting of the lip seal by the keyway during installation. Philip's going to install that now. All right, the gear plate itself has a profile matching that of the B bearings to prevent improper installation of the gear plate. And Philip's going to install that gear plate now as well. All right, and then we're going to wrap it up with the rear plate. And as you can see, we've had no additional fasteners beyond the seal housing at this point. Uh, we've reduced the number of fasteners um, versus the traditional design from uh, 12 to 4. And overall, we've reduced the number of parts in this pump versus a, versus a comparable traditional pump from 40 plus parts to 19 parts. All these bolts are also uh, exposed and uh, they're through bolts that come in from the rear so they're easy to access and easy to hand tighten. Once Philip has these bolts torqued, we will have a fully built pump ready for service. Same materials and performance you've come to expect from Zenith pumps in a much easier to assemble package. For more information, check us out on the web at zenithpumps.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Twitter.